282.
thank you that it is you that works in us both to do and the will of your good pleasure. Amen. And oh God, I just pray, Father, that you forgive us when we don't. Bless the many that are sick and afflicted and those that aren't here today. You know the reasons why. We lift them up into your hand and we pray thy will be done. Whatever dear God that will is, we pray that it will be done. Even in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Now, one thing I wanted to uh, kind of point out is there in the very first uh, part of that verse, Wherefore, seeing we are uh, also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. In chapter 11, uh, it's, uh, it says in the, the first verse of uh, chapter 11, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And for the rest of uh, chapter 11, it, uh, it talks about uh, what faith is and who had faith. Uh, it says in uh, verse 4, By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God uh, testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. And then it says, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and so forth. And so then... Uh, um, it says in verse 7, by faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet. And then verse 8, by uh, faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he, uh, which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. And so forth. You know, there was a, there was a lot of uh, by faith. And a lot of it uh, in uh, verse 11 was just people of the Old Testament because the New Testament hadn't been written yet and so um, if you think about you know just by faith of the people of the Old Testament just think about by faith of the New Testament mm -hmm. and the people after the New Testament had been written you know there there's been a huge amount of huge amount of people who by faith trusted in Christ and there's a lot of things happened to those people by faith. Now then it says wherefore in verse uh, 1 of chapter 12 it says wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endureth such a contra. Uh, endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest yet uh, ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not resisted, uh, resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. 
For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth, scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? For if ye be without chastisement, whereof all ye are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather in, be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chasteneth us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemed, seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore, lift up the hands which aim down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men, and holiness, without which man, which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man should fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. For ye for ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words which voice they that heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them any more. For they could not endure that which was commanded, and if so much as a beast touch the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake, but ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of evil. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escape not who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape, if we turned away from him that speaketh from heaven whose voice then shook the earth, but now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word, yet once more, signifieth the removing of those things which are shaken as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken must remain. Wherefore, we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a, con a consuming fire. And I like that last part, for our God is a consuming fire. Uh, this consuming fire is, you know, like, um, it, it shows a, a, a complete divinity, but also fire is used as a a purifying source, and uh, it's uh, and it says a consuming fire. Um, fire in itself has no um, it does things with uh, a methodical way. It doesn't care uh, what the path takes. 
but um, God has has uh, complete authority in everything, and so. Uh, <coughs> It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, lay, uh, let us lay aside every weight and, and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. We ought to just set aside every sin, you know, set aside the things that might get us down. Set aside everything that, uh, uh, that the world says. Go with what uh, God uh, wants us to do. Don't overthink it. Let's all stand. Brother, Pastor, would you dismiss us to our classes? Lord, we thank you this morning again for allowing us to be here. Lord, we just pray as we go through the Sunday school hour that you Lord, speak to our hearts, Lord, the things that you have for us to know, to understand that we might run the race with patience that is set before us.